Forget about playing a slow, calm game of golf on a pleasant green. Super Rush is Camelot's sixth addition to the Mario Golf series. But this time, it's not just about taking turns smacking a ball across expensive looking lawns. Instead, you'll be running around frantically with up to four other players at the same time. Mario Golf Super Rush lives up to its name. Hitting your ball down the course and then chasing madly after it. Everyone struggling to avoid barking bombs, gusty winds, and other wild obstacles. That's not to say you don't golf too. Much like actual golf, you must be both technical and strategic to maneuver your ball to the hole. Nice. Nice. Anticipate the wind, curve shots to get around obstacles, and calculate your putt for the slope of the green. Good golf fundamentals are rewarded in Super Rush. But then you're rushing headlong down the zany course in a frantic dash to reach your ball within a time limit. You can play as any classic Mario character, including the sexy Waluigi render we've all been waiting for, or as your me. The multiplayer options include local and online play for standard, high speed, and battle gameplay options. While battles and qualifying rounds require you to run around against the ticking of a countdown, the speed rounds are the only types of games in which the clock ticks up and the winners are determined by how fast they can sink the ball. While the most exciting multiplayer gameplay features everyone teeing off simultaneously, you can choose settings that make you take turns. If you're really looking for that quiet and restrained golf experience, you can find it within the multiplayer settings. Or if it's just you, then play a peaceful solo challenge on standard. This is just about the only laid-back, at-your-own-pace golf experience this game offers. The most rewarding gameplay comes in the golf adventure mode, in which you play as your me and live the golf tourney life. Qualify for competitions, level up, and work your way across a map as you unfold the full story of your budding golf prodigy. When leveling, I'd like to increase my driving distance at a similar rate to which I leveled up both my speed and stamina. This way, if I hit the ball 216 yards, I could actually run fast enough for long enough to make it to the ball before the time expires and would give me a minus one stroke penalty. Early in the adventure mode, you experience so-called cross-country golfing, which is basically golf on a massive course you can tackle in any order you like. While struggling to beat the cross-country course's six holes in a mere 30 strokes, I conversed with some mushroom spawn in the town center about which clubs are best at getting the ball up the course's steep inclines. Talking to random characters proved quite helpful in ultimately helping me make the grade. I'm not a huge fan of golf, but Mario Golf Super Rush is a lot of fun. I like how challenging it is, and it's been satisfying to see my virtual golf game improve as I continue to practice and explore. I can't wait till the multiplayer is online and full of people to play against. That said, I'm just going to say what most of us have been thinking. The albatross is a myth. So are hole-in-ones. Do they ever actually happen? I do have my hopes. Slim dreams that may never come true. Guess that I'll just have to keep playing more Mario Golf Super Rush.